All right, so we're here at Vaccaro's Bakery in Clark, New Jersey. Uh, so in the car, I got powdered sugar on my pants, so you could already see, uh, from the Plainfield Donut Shop. It's because I'm a rookie, so I don't really know. Uh, but we, you guys have both dark shirts. We're brave. Yeah. We're brave. I got the dark pants on, uh, but we talked about the lean. So can, we, can you teach us the lean with the powdered jelly? Can we unveil the Yeah, can let's we do unveil that. the uh, Vaccaro's? Yeah, get in there and get some donut shots. Make sure you get uh, one with extra powder sugar. Yeah, this, this is, uh, we might have cornered the sugar, you know, know. market here. That yeah. Sugar futures, uh, <laughs> sugar futures. <laughs> were affected by these four donuts. Yeah. Heavy donut. So, oh, look at him. You got to carefully, carefully move it. So trying, you're in full uniform. Yeah. You're in the public and you just... I mean, yeah. This is a tough one. A uh, really tough one. So I want to just add about this donut. Yeah. When you go <laughs> to, to you, when you go to, you know, like certain, you know, donut shops that are all over the nation from coast to coast with, uh, you know, those franchise names, you have to search for the filling. So my biggest pet peeve with a donut is it needs to be filled. I know that this donut, every single bite is going to have. Oh yeah a phenomenal amount of jelly. If I'm gonna eat a jelly donut, I want jelly in every single bite. You don't get that in the franchise places. No. Mom and pop places, the jelly is in every bite, yeah. and I will be a happy person when I'm finished with Not this. only does it have a lot so of sugar. The floor has suffered. Yeah, now I feel really bad. But you can see. <laughs> yeah, you're clean as a whistle. It looks like a, clean looks up like a, a snowstorm over here. <laughs> clean up on a hill, 11. <laughs> This is what we call a crime scene in policing. I think my goatee is completely uh, white now. I mean, that's just that's just ridiculous. A crazy good donut, I mean, though. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you get that on camera. Evidence. Evidence. This is called spatter evidence yeah. in a crime scene. Okay. We can tell where the jelly came from, mm -hmm. which but, direction he was chewing. But if you notice, there is not even a drop of jelly, I mean, or powdered sugar on our uh, dark yeah. shirts. Yeah. Ridiculous. Of course, Vicaros never wants to see us here again. Our first and last episode ever at Vicaros. <laughs> <laughs> this probably happened at Plainfield years ago. Yeah, yeah that's, why, that's why he's the way that he is and He today. doesn't want us back. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is probably the best filling oh, I've ever had. Good. So good. Good's an understatement. Do we have a mop? I really feel bad. I don't know. There's a lot of jelly here. <laughs> oh, you even dropped a little bit. I know. I mean, I dropped a huge but amount. But I still have jelly in every bite. I was going to say, true. I dropped a huge amount. It was still a, a, an amazing amount of jelly in every bite. Well, that's what I was saying. My pet peeve is when you go to a, a, you know, a, a franchise type spot, you have to search for that one little bite of jelly. This is every single bite. I mean, I believe me, I, I got plenty in my mouth. Even without on the floor, you still got it every bite. That was so good. I don't think I took a breath the whole time I was eating it, though. I know. Because I was ready to be like, ah, the, the one breath, the, the one breath I did take, I almost choked on the sugar. <laughs> so I was like, let me just hold my breath. We're very, very sorry. It was your fault, though. Let's do the glaze here. Give them a little more air time because we messed up their floor. <laughs> onto the glaze. Yeah, onto the glaze. No, no more. Uh, well, I've been making a mess the whole time. So, um, all right. So we did the jelly, and the jelly's amazing. Yeah. Um, we do the glaze because you guys got the bow tie in the car. Yep. I didn't try a bow tie, so I've had two jellies basically so far. But let's. Like, we know. Yeah. Right. But I did okay. <laughs> I did better. But I just I, because I, you I, I learned the lead. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're now properly trained. Yeah. You know? I was more nervous about getting it on the car than I was about getting it on myself. So I was like, I'll just use myself as a buffer. We'll, we'll charge you. Okay, that's fine. We'll charge you. <laughs> but uh, all right, glazed donuts. What makes a good glazed donut? Uh, it's got to be that you know, almost like it's a cl you're holding a cloud in your hand. Sure. Um, you know, a, a good amount of glaze. You want the glaze to be, in my opinion, you want it to be dry. You don't want, you don't want a glaze donut where you're, you know, you have five sticky fingers when you're finished. Yeah. You know, pill, pillowy soft, you know, something that you almost could take a bite of and it'll just, you know, dissolve on your tongue without, you know, having to chew it too too much. Yeah. Um, these look absolutely they look amazing. They look like they're, 
They look great. They look like they fit the, the description. Yeah, they're, they, they, they look airy. They're puffy. They're, uh, they need eight seconds, nine seconds in the microwave, but, you know, not in my office, so we'll suffer through it. But again, that's the great thing about food. He's an eight, nine second in the microwave, and I'm a, uh, what would it be, a, a, a true blue cold out of the, 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 uh, the rack person. Yeah. So it, well, they were telling me that they make them, like for the donuts here, they make them in the morning once, and that's it. So when they sell out, they're done. And I think, like, in Jersey, we kind of have, like, that uh, phobia of, like, if like, we go to diners all the time. Things never run out. You can get a shrimp scampi at 4 o'clock yeah, in the morning, four o'clock you know. Um, but for this kind of stuff and, like, certain foods, like, the sellout is what you want. Like, you want to get there before it sells out. So let's try these all since right. we're here. Pat, after you. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give it one thumbs up because I'm holding it, but it would be easily two thumbs up. Yeah. Again, yeah, it's perfect. first bite, I know that this isn't greasy. I'm not going to be struggling with this later where it's going to be sitting here the rest of my day. Mm -hmm. Amazing. As also an acid reflux guy, I know exactly what you're talking about. Slightly in the glaze. You don't have to go all the way out. Like yeah, right. With the jelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, so you, you're, you've now been trained properly. But with us, it just automatically happens. I'm holding it. It's almost like, it, like this weighs yeah. me forward a little bit. It's a little bit of a chill. That's it. This isn't even like slightly dense. Like, this is this is air. I mean, complete perfection. We did pick the two, two top shelf donut shops. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and another funny thing about this is, and this is in the best kind of way. It's not like overly sweet. Like it's it's no. it's, it's 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 the glaze is doing the talking. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes you take a bite of a donut, you know, your, your jowl will start like almost like cramping up because it's so sweet. Yeah. This is um, just, it's like perfect balance. This is a great job by you, though. You were the one that picked the spots. Mm -hmm. So all the credit goes to you. We're not going to lousy donut shops. No, so if we're, <laughs> that's for sure. If I'm giving up a morning, we're going to eat. Yeah. I'm like fascinated by how this <laughs> donut, I mean. Yeah. It's engineering, science, the whole thing. It's years and years of uh, yeah. probably, you know, perfecting it. Right. I didn't want to finish this, but I'm going to finish the it. The cool story about this place is Port Authority police it kind of saved it during COVID. Yeah. They took up a collection. She just told the story. They were struggling. They were having difficulty paying rent. The place has been around for a long time, and Port Authority did, a, I guess, a GoFundMe, and we're still here. Yeah. Enjoying their donuts. Yeah, and I think that goes back to what we were talking about in the first segment, too, in the car, about, like, the community side of it, mm -hmm. you know? Because, like, every, you know, the rising tides raise all boats kind of thing, and if you're just around good people doing good things, then, you know, good things happen for those people. So she was doing a lot of stuff for the Port Authority, which is great, mm -hmm. you know, and now here we are having some donuts, which we weren't, it would not have been if not for just the outpouring of support from the community. Chain, yeah. Donuts. You know, the funny part about like, you know, like now with like the internet and Instagram and everybody wants to be an amateur influencer, you sure. know, I mean. I, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> and that's great. It's our, you know, your platform yeah. is allowing that next generation to come in and try products like this. So they don't go away forever yes. as a, you know, a foodie. My biggest fear is eating something that gives me those goosebumps. I'm like, Oh my God, that's like one of the best things I've ever eaten. And then, you know, pulling up a week a month later and that those doors are closed because not enough people have gotten to yeah. see you know the you know not enough of a word has gotten out so to speak you forgot the oh, there you go <laughs> well so it's I just you know, a mouthful yeah that's, that's why it's on you know like we have to do these kind of things because we want to get the word out for the next generations for years and years to come so the next group of you know crop of people could come and try a donut like this yeah. so it's available for you know, generations yeah. to come. And that's really well said because, you know, like, I've noticed it in certain towns where, like, you have... The hardware store. Yeah, or the, yeah. Right, exactly. Like, little, like, downtown areas that still have places like this and mm -hmm. those places that, you know, I went to when I was a kid with my dad and all that kind of stuff. And then there's other towns that are kind of going the other direction where, like, all the restaurants are owned by, like, one group, you know, and all the liquor licenses are owned by one group. And, you know, you just start to see kind of, like, a corporatization of certain downtowns in Jersey and but having places like this and doing this kind of stuff and getting those things out there for people to see is super important because the people like they work super hard here yeah. you know and uh, just to get that and not that everyone doesn't work hard but it's just like a different kind of thing for as long as these guys how long have you been here for 40 years right 
50 years next year. So It's true, though. I mean, like, you have a baker in the back that's kneading this dough or maybe using a small mixer to do something that's not on, like, a corporate level where yeah. it's just a robot pumping it out. Sure. You know, that labor of love is really shown in something like this. Yeah. You're not getting this by a robot pumping out something that's mixing and going into this gigantic fryer to then be flash frozen to be shipped somewhere. Yeah. You know, you're getting this because someone's back there with that labor of love. Yeah. We talked about pizza before. You go down, I travel the country. You know, there's places, you go into a town, there is just those couple chains. Yeah. Uh, the hut, you know. Right. Uh, and they don't know, you know, the joke is come to New Jersey for real pizza. I was in the Outer Banks. I walked into a place called New York Style Pizza. And the guy grabbed the dough off the shelf. <laughs> Put it down, did the tube. Uh, it was, yeah, it was handmade, but it was terrible. Sure. Oh, yeah. my God. I should have just gotten a Ilios out of the yeah. freezer. I have a funny story like that. I was Years ago, I was out in, Pen uh, in Pittsburgh, traveled over to Ohio you know, one morning with a friend of mine, and uh, I was asked, you want to get a bagel for breakfast? Hell yeah. Sure. You know, I'm a bagel. Yeah. Ba you know, bagels are another right, yeah, 1A, yeah. 1B. Bagels are up there as well. And again, we're spoiled here in New Jersey. Every, every town has a... Above average bagel shop, yes. let's be honest. Yeah. But we're obviously on the on the hunt for the best one. But anyway, yeah, I'll get a bagel. We went into like a Kroger. I'm like, all right, this is a little weird. Sure. Go Not to the bakery. Start. They, you know, <laughs> long story longer. Here I get the clamshell plastic with what looked like a Kaiser roll with a hole in it. Oh, okay. And that's pretty much what it was. So yeah. again, you're not getting that everywhere. We yeah. we do we we are kind of lucky to to live where we live and kind of have everything at our fingertips. He needs some donuts. Yeah, you need some donuts, dude. Yeah, you, you got to eat. You eating Thank one? you. I can film you eating one. You too. If you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's do it. For the episode. Of course. Which one should I eat? Which one do you, you like? You pick. Do you feel like you got the lean down, yeah, or you yeah, want to make a mess? All right, so then go glaze. Then go glaze. <laughs> and you come let up, me know if it's over to the dirty corner. Yeah, to come to the dirty corner so that. Oh, look, he went with a napkin right away. Yeah. yeah. Well, he watched us eat two donuts yeah, and get it all over the He's floor. not like an animal like me. <laughs> I don't have a good, of a good enough analysis, but I definitely noticed the air in it. Nice and fluffy. Are you a donut guy? I he is like now. Donuts. Yeah, <laughs> he is I mean, now. Who doesn't like donuts? That's true. But, uh, but yeah, no, this is like... Was it also difficult for you to watch us eat so far three donuts? and just be able to film it. Mm. You're yes a thin no. guy, so maybe yes not. No. Yeah. I All mean, right. it is hard, but I don't mind. I'm just behind the camera. Yeah. I'm more focused on that. All right, that's but. fair. True professional. Yeah, a, pro, a pro's pro. Yeah. I, I was going to say, if I had to answer the same question, if I was holding the camera, I would have been sweating, sweating nervous. Like, I would have been like, what's it my The turn? camera would have been on the floor of the truck. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. would have gotten any shots. Probably one of the best. I don't know if I've had, I mean, I don't like seek out good donuts yeah. a whole lot. But it is good. I'm more into protein bars, but as far as donuts goes. <laughs> <it's just Yeah. laughs> Thank you so much. Your girlfriend I'll, has I'll, more. I'll uh, send you all the stuff. Yeah, you too. Take Thank you. All right. No. No, we're good. No, we're good. <laughs> My diabetes is, uh, is not happy with me right now. Yeah, it's, it's acting up. I need insulin. My diabetes is not happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you.